Hi, my name is Tong Sok Kwon. I oh sorry. I'm from Myeongji University, South Korea, and actually I'm not a machine learning expert or text mining expert. Luckily, I had a chance to co-work with a great team in NCBI, so recently we are developing a new system called named EasyText. Today I will I will present uh, I will introduce the what we were working on and I will discuss about what we were going to do in about this thing in plus three. Uh, this picture shows that why the name extraction name entity recognition is so important for for analyzing or calling uh, text literatures. Almost half of the queries are about the the, the bio concept in the text. So we need to very precise name entity extraction recognition system for these things. And but usually named entity recognition is I'm sorry. How can I disappear this? I don't know. <laughs> usually yeah NEL is very task specific things. So if you need some uh, protein entity recognition, then you, you need to uh, use a specific tagger for proteins, or you need to some other extraction things for, for genetics, DGGs. So uh, that is one big problem for, for NER or normalization things. And also, NCBI team also provide a good uh, tagging system, Pubtator. In, in that system, they provide five different taggers for each bioconcept. Uh, they are very good, but, but still, there is a lot of need for some users. Usually, usually, they want to extend their own taggers or their own something like Pubtator, but but it's not enough for their needs. So in that case, they usually want to use their own dictionaries for tagging some entities, or they want to, to use their own project. But current Pubtator uh, is not available for those, those needs. Recently, NCBI team released a new tagger based on machine learning um, Techniques. Each each not uh, each all proposed tagger, so it can be tagging any kind of bio concept. Only only in this is that they need some training data for for uh, learning how to tagging the entities. On top of these systems, we are currently developing a new interactive annotating system, annotation system. This figure shows the, the main concept of these things. If a user has some document with annotations, then user can input those doc documents to the tool. In this case, is the tool is tagger one, and you can train from those those document, and the tagger can learn from document how to tagging each named entity, and and the result of the training. You can see the annotated document, and user can easily define those annotated document by manually. And if there is some some mistakes or some missing entity or some something wrong, they can fix, and and they can input those defined result into the tools. They can read learn from the document, the data. So. Uh, as they, they as this loop is repeated again and again, then the the tool would be a, um, more accurate to taking the the one. And also we we provide a very a simple lexicon based dictionary based a tagger. So if user don't have any annotation, then they can they can use their dictionary to to tagging some entities, and then. They can refine, they can refine the, the result, and they can also use those things for as a as an input of the tools. So 
by this process, by this process, um, we can we can get a very good general purpose tagging system. I think so. So this is the the main concept of easy tag. Easy tag is actually it's a portrait plus tag one and and they allow any type any kind of entity types and they can they you can use any your previous lexicons or dictionaries and they also you can you can also manually add, uh, annotate the things by using a web interface and yeah and also uh, easy tag will be support the full text because potato is only for for abstract part of text but easy tag will be support the full text and very new interface this is some screenshot for for uh, the easy tag system you can make a collection of some document and in the collections you can import uh, ios format documents so, so um, each document may have the, some annotations or not, but on on the collections you 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 can also download your lexicons, the, the very simple dictionary for tagging the entities. And the result of the annotation of the annotation result, you can see the those things on web interface and each named entity will have different color uh, different background color so you can easily see the result of the annotating and then you can you can also manually editing that uh, the tagging result by clicking the the document you can you can add a new annotation or you can change the the name concept or you can change the type of the entities yeah, and also you can you you can use this this document as an input of the tagger. So after training some very uh, small set of documents, you we can get a um, named uh, we, we can get get a tagging order those red named entity from the tagger after training poly abstracts. Uh, yeah, that's the current state of the, the system. In the plus three, we are trying to uh, extend the current tools to support the any PMIDs. Instead of using BIOS format, you can easily uh, import the document by by submitting to some IDs, and also we want to make the result of each tag will be used easily to the pop annotation or vice versa i mean the result of bio a pop annotation can be easily used in that our tool and our tools result will be used for for pop annotations and, and by these things we we want to we want to make a good high quality annotation set up uh, try to make those those things, yes. That's our goal in this this hackathon. Yes, thank you. Do you have any question for that? Yeah. How can we answer the last question? Pardon? How can we answer the last question? On the list? Oh, the last question. Uh, how many? I don't know exactly, but but uh, in this currently our system is just a testing phase, so not a completely uh, done. So in this in this simple we we are trying to test and use as much as possible, and and then probably we can a little bit guess about those things. Yeah, not perfect, but yeah. And by high quality, you mean like with high variation of annotation so that machine learning models can actually learn the annotations or the 
<laughs> and I speak first. I'm not a the the <laughs> most important <laughs> guy, but I mean, I he can. Exactly yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he can answer. <laughs> Okay, maybe we can continue the discussion after the symposium. Last day, speaker.